From John Watson's famed sheepskin jacket, to Manuel Pellegrini's iconic, you're never too old for a club hoodie look, the worlds of football and fashion are never too far apart. And who better to set the trends than the managers themselves, who've graced the touchlines of football grounds across the country with some unusual and distinctive attire over the years. Here, HITC Sevens takes a look at seven of the most notable examples. Here are our seven famous managerial fashion statements. Roberto Mancini's scarf. No country is more synonymous with fashion than Italy, so it's fitting that an Italian should make this seven. Roberto Mancini is a popular man in Manchester, having guided Manchester City to their first top flight title in 44 years in 2012. However, Mancini had endeared himself to the Man City fans even before any silverware had been added to the trophy cabinet, by donning the club's retro 1950s style scarf. The scarf became a favourite of Mancini's and the fans alike, with the current Zenit manager setting a trend which caused a huge upsurge of interest and sales of the scarf in the Manchester City club shop. Owen Coyle and his shorts. Managers are sometimes defined by whether they're tracksuit or suit managers when it comes to their attire on the touchline. Well, Owen Coyle is a shorts kind of manager. The former Wigan, Bolton and Houston Dynamo coach, who originally had great success at Burnley, was apparently never informed that he retired from playing in 2007 and is in fact free to wear trousers now. Currently odds on to be the next Ross County manager, Football fans in Scotland can look forward to the return of Coyle and his shorts on the touchline after a 10 year absence. Arsene Wenger's never ending puffer jacket. Long time Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger has proved time and again that he's a stylish guy, but his stupidly long zip up puffer jacket has been doing its best to prove that that isn't the case over the last few years. Wenger likes to mix it up on the touchline, fluctuating between his suits and his track suits, but the English winters are obviously still too much for the Frenchman who often turns to his distinctive never-ending coat. We don't remember seeing it in his early years, so maybe it is in fact to blame for Arsenal's Premier League drought over the last 12 years. Jose Mourinho's grey coat. Before he became embittered and emotionally hardened by the turmoil of being twice sacked by Roman Abramovich, Jose Mourinho is the likeable and stylish Portuguese guy who was putting a dent in Sir Alex Ferguson's dominance of the English game and calling himself the special one. Jose was good fun in his first stint at Chelsea, and his famous knee-length grey coat became a familiar sight in the Premier League between 2004 and 2007. Not everyone was a fan, with your coats from Matalan becoming a favourite for crowds across the country. The coat wasn't in fact from Matalan, but rather from Armani, and eventually sold for £22,000 at a charity auction. Brian Clough's Green Jumper Legendary former Derby County and Nottingham Forest boss Brian Clough was another man who liked to mix it up between suits and tracksuits over the course of his 25 plus years in management, which saw him win two First Division titles and two European Cups. Towards the end of his career particularly though, Clough had another favourite, his trusty green jumper. It was another trendsetter, and in 2014, Nottingham Forest fans donned similar green jumpers for a game against Tottenham Hotspur to mark 10 years since the death of their club legend. Tony Pulis and his baseball caps. Mid-table magician Tony Pulis was probably born wearing a club tracksuit and a baseball cap. The current West Bromwich Albion manager, who's previously managed the likes of Crystal Palace and Stoke City, reportedly earns between two to three million pounds a year. Not that he needs it, as he probably stocks his entire wardrobe with purchases totaling around 37 pounds and 50 pence from Sports Direct. We're just kidding Tony, you look great, and we know you get them for free. Tim Sherwood and his gilets. It had to be. In top spot, it's Tim Sherwood and his love affair with a club gilet. Sherwood has only actually had a couple of half seasons in management, firstly with Tottenham Hotspur and then with Aston Villa, getting sacked from both within eight months of his appointment. Whilst his managerial record may not live long in the memory, his gilets did. A few managers have followed in the one-time Premier League winner's footsteps, such as Jose Mourinho and Gary Monk. Sherwood once famously threw his gilet to the ground in anger whilst managing Aston Villa, only to be wearing a jacket that looked like he was wearing a gilet underneath it anyway. So that's it for our top 7. Let us know any managerial fashion statements we may have missed in the comments. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.